Hi everyone, welcome to the session of mathematics. Today we will be dealing with chapter 4 of class 7 that is repeated multiplication. Now before going to the chapter, let us go back to our third standard. There we discussed a similar term like repeated multiplication. It was repeated addition. Now what was repeated addition? We studied that repeated addition is called multiplication, isn't it? That is, instead of repeatedly adding a number, we can express it in terms of multiplication. For example, here we are adding a number repeatedly. 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2. Here we have 2 repeated 4 times. So, we can write it as 4 times 2 or 4 into 2. Similarly, if it is 3 plus 3 plus 3, we can write it as 3 times 3 or 3 into 3. So, this is called what? Repeated addition. Now, what is the case of repeated multiplication? So, this chapter is about that. We will study how can we represent repeated multiplication in another form. Okay, let us see. Repeated multiplication. We are taking a number and multiplying it repeatedly. Let us take 2 itself. 2 into 2 into 2. Okay. How we will do this? 2 into 2 into 2. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. We will get 8 here. Okay. And if it is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. What we will do? We will multiply 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. We will multiply 3 4 times. Isn't it? Now, instead of multiplying it like this, we have a short form to do. So, here instead of writing 2 into 2 into 2, we will write this 2 here and how many times this 2 is repeating? 3 times. Isn't it? So, that 3 we will write on top right side of this 2 in small font size. That is a size smaller than this 2. Okay. Now, what about this? Here, 3 is repeating 4 times. So, we will write 3 here and how many times it is repeating 4 times. That 4 we will write on top right side of this 3. And this is read as 2 raised to 3. 2 raised to 3. And this is read as 3 raised to 4. 3 raised to 4. Okay. And the number which is repeating is called base. Here 2 is repeating, 2 is called base. We have base. The number which is repeating is called base and the number of times this base is repeating is called power or exponent. Okay. Here 2 is repeating 3 times. So this 3 is called power or exponent. So, you can tell here what is the exponent? 4 is the exponent because 3 is repeating 4 times. So, we have base power or exponent. Okay. Now, from this clue, we are going to tell the other name for repeated multiplication. We have repeated addition is multiplication. Now, repeated multiplication is what? Okay. So, here see, we are writing this multiplication in terms of exponents, isn't it? In terms of exponents. So, this process is called exponentiation. Exponentiation. See, 
repeated multiplication is called exponentiation for example if you are writing 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 here we have 3 repeated 5 times so what we will write 3 raised to 5 and this 3 is called the base and 5 which is on top of 3 is called power of 3 or the exponent okay then that is the number of times the base is repeated 3 is called the base here the number of times the base is repeated is called power or exponent okay now we will study how to find the exponents of certain numbers that is if you are given find what is 3 raised to 4 how we will find the meaning of 3 raised to 4 is what? 3 is repeated 4 times. So, we will write 3 4 times. It is multiplication, repeated multiplication. So, 3 is multiplied 4 times. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now, how will you find the answer? We will just multiply and we will find. 3 into 3 is what? 9. 9 into 3, 27. 27 into 3, Someone may be doing, some of you will have to do the calculation. 27 into 3 is 81. Okay. So, this is 81. Now, instead of doing like this 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, we have one more method. It will be somewhat easy for you. Okay. That is 3 raised to 4 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now, we are going to group it into 2. That is the first two will group, the last two we will group. Here we know that 3 into 3 is 9 into, again 3 into 3 is what? 9. Now 9 into 9 is what? 81. See, without doing any calculation we got the answer by grouping the numbers. Okay. Similarly, let's find another one. 2 raised to 4. 2 raised to 4. Here we have 2 multiplied 4 times. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Again, instead of doing 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, what we can do? 2, we will group it into 2. 2 into 2 is 4. Again, 2 into 2 is 4. 4 into 4 is 16. That we know. This is how we find the exponents. Okay. Next, we will study the power of tens or before that, let us see what is the peculiarity of the numbers with powers 2 and 3. That is, if the power of any number is 2, that is 2 raised to 2, if you are taking 2 raised to 2, there is a speciality for the numbers with powers 2 and 3. If you are having 2 raised to 2, 2, it is also called 2 square. It is also called what? 2 square. That is, can be read as what? 2 square. If it is 4 raised to 2, can be called as what? 4 square. 4 square. Similarly, if the power is 3 what we will call we will I mean if it is 2 raised to 3 we will call it as 2 cube if it is 4 raised to 3 we will call it as 4 cube so this is the peculiarity of the numbers with powers 2 and 3 instead of telling 4 raised to 2 we can just tell it as 4 square 5 square 3 cube, 8 cube like that. The, if the power of any number is 2, then we call it the square of that number. 4 into 4 is 4 raised to 2 and it is read as what? 4 square. 6 raised to 2 is read as 6 square. 3 raised to 2 is read as 3 square etc. If the power of any number is 3, then we call it cube of that number. For example, 2 raised to 3 is read as 2 cube, 5 raised to 3 is read as 5 cube, 
7 raised to 3 is read as 7 cube etc. Okay, clear no? Next, we have to study power of 10. Next topic is power of 10. Power of 10 means we can take different number of powers for 10s. That is 10 raised to 1, 10 raised to 2, 10 raised to 3 etc. are all what? Powers of 10. 10 raised to 1. What is the meaning of 10 raised to 1? 10 is multiplied one time or 10 is repeated one time means what? 10 only. So 10. Any number raised to 1 is that number is still whether it is 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 or lakh. The number raised to 1 is that number itself. If it is 3 raised to 1, it is 3 only. 5 raised to 1, it is 5, etc. So here we have 10 raised to 1, 10. Now 10 raised to 2 is equal to, what is the meaning? 10 is multiplied 2 times or 10 is repeated 2 times. 10 into 10 equal to 100. 10 raised to 3 means 10 is multiplied 3 times and it is 10 into 10 into 10. How will you find this? Just if you are having multiplication if you are having numbers ending with 0 first we will multiply the non-zero numbers here then put the total number of zeros at last that is 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 itself now how many zeros are there 3 so 10 raised to 3 or 10 cube is what 1000 if it is 10 raised to 4 without expressing it like this you can directly write the answer what we will write we will put 1 and how many zeros are there four zeros will be there that is we can conclude that in powers of 10 the number the zeros in the number is equal to what the power of 10 if it is 10 raised to 8 how many zeros will be in that number eight zeros will be there that is one and eight zeros eight zeros will be there 10 raised to 1 is 10, 10 raised to 2 is 100, 10 raised to 3 is 1000, etc. It goes on. That is from these examples we can see that the number of zeros in the number is equal to what? The power of 10. It is example 10 raised to 8 is what? 1 and 8 zeros. Okay. Next, how can we find cube of 100? 100 cube means what? 100 is multiplied 3 times. That is 100 into 100 into 100. Now, let me write this 100 as 10 into 10. It is easy for us, no? 10 into 10. So, 100 is 10 into 10. This 100 also we have written as 10 into 10. Okay. Now, see how many 10s are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 10s are here. It is what? 10 is repeated 6 times means it is 10 raised to 6. Now how will you find 10 raised to 6? 1 and 6 zeros. It is 10 raised to 6 which is equal to 1 and 6 zeros. Easy to find. Next we have computing 20 raised to 4. How can we compute 20 raised to 4? See 20 raised to 4 means 20 multiplied 4 times. Repeatedly multiplied 4 times. So, 20 into 20 into 20 into 20, we will write. Now, I told you if it is a power of 10, it is easy for us to calculate the number. If it is power of 10. So, we are going to convert this 20 into 2 into 10. We are going to write 20 as 2 into 10. So, we have 4 20s. So, 2 into 10 into the next 2 into 10 into 2 into 10 into 2 into 10. Each 20 we are going to write as 2 into 10. Now, Let's group these 2's and 10's separately. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 2's are there. So we will write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into. How many 10's are here? 4. That also we will group separately. Now we know that 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is what? 16. Now how many 10's are here? 4 10's are here. That means 10 raised to 4. It is what? 1 and 4 zeros. So, 1 and 4 zeros. What is 16 into 10,000? It is what? 1 lakh 60,000. 16 and 
four zeros you can put. 16 into 10,000 means what? Just multiply the non-zero numbers in this. 16 into 1 is 16 and put the remaining four zeros here. That will be the answer. Okay. So, we have discussed exponents. What is exponentiation? We know what is a base, what is power, what is an exponent and we know how to calculate the exponents of certain numbers. We know the, how to calculate power of tens and if it is given a certain number 20 raised to 4, we know how to cal convert it into power of tens and do the operation. Okay, these are all about this class. So, we will wind up the session. See you in the next video. Thank you.